Welcome to the Brain Tap Podcast, here to help you relax, reboot, and strengthen your overworked brain. Your host, Dr. Patrick Porter, has been developing cutting edge brainwave training technology for three decades. He's been featured in national publications such as the Wall Street Journal, Business Week, and Inc. Magazine, as well as major television networks such as NBC, CBS, and the Discovery Channel. Dr. Porter's latest development, the BrainTap Pro Mobile app, can help you sleep better, lose weight, de-stress, quit smoking, or kick any other bad habit, all while increasing your energy, mindfulness, joy, peak performance, and more. Take the free BrainTap Pro Challenge. Simply register at braintap.pro. That's braintap.pro. On the BrainTap Podcast, Dr. Porter brings together a team of experts to share up-to-the-minute news in neuroscience, brain training technology, along with how mindfulness and meditation can be used to improve your life in ways you never imagined possible. And now, here's your host, Dr. Patrick Porter. Hello, this is Dr. Patrick Porter. I want to welcome you back to Brain Tap Radio. Today we have a great guest with us, somebody that, that I've learned about for now for a couple of years, and we met at a trade show, and I'm just so impressed by what he's doing out there with the community that I invited him on the podcast here, so each of you can learn about what he's doing. He's from Houston, Texas. Dr. Holtzi, please introduce yourself a little more thoroughly. Tell us, you have such a long list of what I could talk about. We'd be here for the whole half hour just talking about your accolades, so share with us a little bit. Well, you're kind to say that, and thank you, Patrick, uh, Dr. Porter, for inviting me on your program, and thank you for giving me an opportunity to share the vision I have for people's health and how people can do a 180 and take charge of their health, and I appreciate the opportunity to do that. I uh, grew up in Houston, Texas. My name is Dr. Steve Hotsey. I grew up in Houston, Texas, and uh, my wife and I eloped after high school, went off to college graduated in three and a half years, had a paint contracting business, remodeling business, put us through school, had a couple of kids in college, a couple, and then I came back here to Houston to medical school, did, a, did a, graduated at the University of Texas here in Houston, and the night I graduated was July 30th, 1976, and my father, who was a very successful entrepreneur and a father of eight, I was the oldest of seven boys, held a banquet for me at the Houston Club. And during that banquet, he turned to me and looked at me in the eye and he said, son, I said, yes, sir. He said, don't poison your patients like all the other doctors do. And that really planted a seed in my mind. And he repeated this over several years. He'd say that, be sure you don't poison your patients like all the other doctors do. Well, after a year of surgery, residency and having four kids, I had to make some money. So I went into emergency medicine for five years. And then in 81, I set up a general family medical and occupational clinic here on the north side of Houston. And, you know, we saw the common, you know, the common complaints, people coming into general practice, they're coming in with recurrent and chronic sinus and bronchitis and asthma and skin disorders. They're coming in with high blood pressure and, you know, back and muscle and joint aches and pains and a whole host of different problems. I never was one to give uh, any, any anxiety medications. I really didn't believe in them because I'd read a book by Thomas says the myth of uh, Dr. Thomas says the myth of uh, mental illness. So I knew that people did not need to be on all these anti-anxiety and antidepressants. So we tried to treat them for their physical problems. But one day a lady came into the office I'll call her Mrs. Jones. She, she was at a retirement center right next door, and she came over, and she'd been a guest of mine for several years. And she was the first guest I saw, or first patient I saw in the morning. And I said, Miss Jones, how are you doing? She had a big smile on her face. And I was so unexpected because none of my patients ever smiled <laughs> when they come into the office. I said, she said, Dr. Hotsey, I, I feel like ever since I threw away all the drugs you were giving me, I feel felt like I feel like a million dollars. And that struck home to me. And I remember my dad's words, don't poison your patients like all the other doctors do. And I thought to myself, this lady has more sense than me and all the other patients in the practice and all the other doctors. She knows that these medications were making her feel bad and they couldn't be good for her if she felt badly on the medication. Fast forward a couple of months, my dad comes in and says, son, I'm going to talk to you. I'm having a little chest pain. And he described it to me. And I said, Dad, it sounds like you have some angina, which is poor blood flow to the, 
to the heart. I said, let's take you in to see a cardiologist who will get you evaluated. Well, we did a angiogram where we studied his arteries to find out he had a blockage in his left anterior ascending artery and doctor recommended angioplasty. Now, this is back in 1988, and that was basically what you did back then. You either had heart surgery or angioplasty. Well, I watched the procedure through a window into the into the catheterization room and watch the the uh, EKG and all of a sudden it broke into this terrible rhythm and I called up my backup cardiovascular surgeon Dr. Bob Feldman I said Bob get over here they just blew his artery so my dad had emergency surgery bypass surgery and lived through it thank God got out of the hospital and about two weeks later he called me up and he said so on a Saturday morning he said son come over here I want to talk to you well he was rather stern when he said that so I get over to his house and he says, he says, I don't know what the Sam Hill I was letting these doctors invade my body for. I'm an engineer. It violates every engineering principle. I've got a calcified artery and they're going to stretch it. It's going to crack. That's exactly what happens. He's in the all gas pipeline business. We have pipelines that got a crack in them. You put pressure on them. They blow. I don't know what I was doing. He said, read this article. Now he gave me an article by Dr. Julian Whitaker about heart disease and heart attacks. And Dr. Whitaker, uh, Dr. Whitaker reported uh, much of what I'd learned in medical school that one, angioplasty, in the first year after you have a heart attack, you have angioplasty, your mortality rate is 15%. If you have bypass surgery, it's 5%. If all you do is eat right, lose weight, exercise, keep your blood pressure normal, and take vitamins and minerals, your chance of mort your mortality risk is 1%. And so his conclusion was, don't let the doctors invade your body. And so dad said, what do you think about this, son? I said, dad, I wish we'd have tried that. He said, well, this doctor says I need vitamins. What do I need to take? And I was like a deer in headlights. I said, dad, I'm a doctor. What do I know about vitamins? And he turned to me and looked at me right in the eye and said, son, will you find out? Uh, and uh, of course, I love my daddy and I wanted to do anything I could to help him. I said, sure, I will. And I did. That was in 1988. And I ended up attending a, um, an allergy conference, interestingly enough, and, uh, from the Pan American Allergy Society and, and heard doctors get up and talk about the same people I was seeing in my practice. And they were treating them with, there's her ear, nose, and throat allergies. They were treating them with uh, allergy treatment, both for food and airborne allergies. And there also had people there with, with boosts all about vitamins. So I started studying vitamins I studied allergy, ended up getting a fellowship from the uh, uh, American Academy of Autolaryngic Allergy. I, uh, in, in learning, started to do allergy in my practice, started doing airborne and food allergy. And then I started, and I was using vitamins uh, and I'd studied about vitamins and I was flabbergasted that I hadn't learned any. I can't remember, a, you know, we may have had an hour course on vitamins. I can't remember a course in med school on vitamins for crying out loud and minerals. I had no course on that. So I studied that and saw that there were tremendous health benefits from using vitamins and minerals. And then I happened to listen to a, uh, a series by Dr. Linus Pauling on vitamin C. And I was so intrigued by that. And he sold me right off the bat. He and Matthias Rath on the, uh, on uh, vitamin C and, how important it was in preventing coronary artery disease. And I started taking 10,000 uh, milligrams of vitamin C every day. And I've done that for the last 25 years. And my, my uh, heart cath is completely clear. I got no calcium in my arteries, which is rare for somebody my age. I'm 67 and very few people can say that at 67 years of age, they don't have any calcium buildup in their arteries. Well, I don't, and I credit it to the vitamin C that uh, Dr. Matthias Rath had talked about. And then we began to treat for yeast. I found all these patients that had allergies, they had recurrent sinus and bronchitis. Of course, what does the doctor put them on? He puts them on antibiotics. Well, the antibiotics will kill the abnormal infection or the pathogenic infection that you may have in your sinus or your lungs or elsewhere in your body, but it also kills normal, healthy bacteria in the gut. And, um, and you get yeast overgrowth. Women notice it when they get yeast vaginitis. I used to have women say, if you give me an antibiotic, you got to give me some monostatic cream. I get an infection every time. So you can clean up a vaginal yeast infection, but you still got yeast in your colon. Yeast produces toxins, causes uh, leaky gut syndrome in the gut, and you get 
the toxins depress the immune system, you get set up for more infections, and you take more antibiotics, you get on this vicious circle where you're taking antibiotics frequently year round. So I learned from Dr. Kroc about how to, how to treat for yeast. And uh, so we have a yeast-free eating program. Yeast grows on sugar, so we eliminate all the carbs, all the simple carbohydrates, which are just simply sugar molecules hooked together. We eliminate that, and we put them on a treatment to kill yeast in the spore form and then in the mycelial form in the colon and get the yeast cleared up. As a matter of fact, we have a yeast-free program that starts every January. It starts on January 8th there. If anybody is interested in cleaning up their diet, uh, and the way to do it is the yeast-free cleanse program. That's for you eliminate all sugars, including your sugars that come from your fruits, and you eat a, basically a paleo eating program. You're eating meats, vegetables, good healthy oils. Um, almost, not quite ketogenic, but it could be. It depends how much oil you eat. And, and uh, so we do that. And you can go in, if you're interested in that, you can go to yeastfreewithme.com, yeastfreewithme, and get on the yeast-free eating program. We have thousands of people that will be on this program this month and every year. And we do that for a month. And once you find out how good you can feel when you eat healthy, and cut the sugars and the simple carbs dramatically out of your eating program. Can't believe how good you can feel. Well, then, in 1992, a friend of mine at a conference, at an allergy conference, said, you know, you've got a lot of patients that have thyroid problems. I said, I do. He said, you do. And I said, what do they have? Well, they have autoimmune thyroiditis. They're making antibodies to the thyroid gland. I said, really? So I, uh, so I said, what do you do when you do that? He said, well, I use Armour Thyroid desiccated thyroid. I said, really? And so I went to the head of our, uh, head of our society, Dr. Dor Brown, who's just, who's uh, passed now, but he was 84. Then I went up and said, Dr. Brown, Dr. Mabry says that I got a lot of patients with thyroid problems. You do. Oh, I do. Yes, you do. <laughs> I said, uh, what should I use to treat them? Should I use the Synthroid synthetic thyroid or armor thyroid? Use armor thyroid. I said, why? It works. Ah, it works. And that's all he had to say. He's, he'd, been, he'd been around the corner and he knew what worked and what didn't work. And I believe in result-based medicine. Not so much, uh, uh, they call it uh, evidentiary-based medicine. I want results. I want results with our guests. So I, I began to check. And sure enough, I found 30% of the females that walked in our office and 18% and, uh, of the males had antibodies to their thyroid gland. These are allergy patients primarily. And I began to treat with thyroid. And my gosh, we had tremendous success. And then I read Dr. Broder Barnes's book, who was really, uh, he wrote the unsuspe uh, hypothyroidism, the unsuspected illness. And he opened my eyes to individuals that have the signs and symptoms of low thyroid. That's fatigue, difficulty weight in many cases, inability to focus and think clearly poor sleep, joint muscle aches and pain, dis, uh, bowel disorders, recurrent and chronic infections, women with menstrual irregularities and all that, it's oftentimes related to low thyroid. And you ought to give them a therapeutic trial of thyroid. So I began to treat patients, therapeutic, give them a therapeutic trial of desiccated natural thyroid hormone. And then in 96, Dr. Whitaker, who I spoke about earlier, said, me, I had met him, by the way. I'd gone out to meet him in California. He had come to meet me, so we developed a friendship, and he sent me a monograph about natural hormones. Well, I didn't learn anything about natural hormones in, in medical school and how to treat with natural hormones, and I read his, his section on desiccated thyroid or armored thyroid, and he did the same thing I did, so I felt vindicated because I looked up to him, but he also talked about natural testosterone and progesterone and estrogen and DHEA and a host of other uh, subjects. And I was fascinated about this. Well, I walk in the office the next day. That afternoon, my first patient was Lark Steele. I can mention her name because she's spoken at many of our conferences. And she said, doctor, I walk in and she's got in her hand a cassette video, a cassette tape. She said, Dr. Hotsey, would you like to hear what Dr. John Lee says about progesterone? I said, that's amazing. I just read about that last night. I'd love to listen to that. And there's an old adage, when the student is ready, the teacher arrives. So I listened to this, going home, which is about a 30-minute drive, I listened to this, him talking about progesterone in women. 
and how, you know, women have two basic hormone groups. They have the estrogen and the progesterone uh, that they're making in their ovaries, and they have to balance one another. And as women age, the progesterone levels fall. They become estrogen dominant, and that can lead to infertility problems. It can lead to uh, problems with uh, miscarriages. It can also lead to problems with dysfunctional uterine bleeding and fibroids and a whole host of problems for which most women go and get a hysterectomy. And so he said, if you'll use this, it will absolutely change the women's lives. So two ladies, once I, didn't, I called him up, I got his number somehow, and I called him up and said, Dr. Lee, it's Dr. Otsi. I'm in Houston. I read your, uh, listened to your tape on progesterone. Where in the world do I get progesterone? He goes, you need to get it from a compounding pharmacy. So I shopped around. I called a guy up, a buddy who's a buddy of mine now. I said, Phil, come over here and teach me about progesterone. And he showed me what they do and how they use it. And the first two people I used it with, one had been on Primarin, and she was, she was been treated for me for allergies and done well on that, but she had a very edgy personality to say the least. And she was the wife of a very prominent pastor in town. And so uh, I, I said, where, where's your husband? Why well, he's off saving the world. Don't you ever try? No, I don't travel with him. I let him save the world. I'm staying at home. Well, she had that kind of attitude. I said, when she came in, I said, listen, I'm taking you off premium. We're going to put you on natural, natural estrogen and progesterone. And she was 53 at the time. The next lady came in after that. And I, she was on premium too. And I switched her. Well, Fast forward a month, they came back into my practice, and and the first lady, the wife of the pastor, I said, how are you doing? And she said, I can't believe it's like a black cloud lifted off my head. I feel wonderful. As a matter of fact, I sent it to my mother in Mobile, Alabama, and my sister called me and said, what did you send mother? Now, I'm not recommending you do that and treat your own family, but she did. So she sent it to her mom. And she said, well, why do you ask? She said, because mom's holding a block party. And her mom been a recluse for 10 years. Now her mom's throwing a block party. Her daughter was 33 at the time, was at the same age. She had had her hysterectomy and put on, uh, and been put on primarin. And so she sent her progesterone and prevented her from getting a hysterectomy. And it just absolutely changed her life. The next lady that came in was a sweet little Christian lady. All, she's always dressed to the T's and just as sweet as she could be. And I said, Pam, how are you doing um, on this progesterone and bias? She goes, Dr. Hotsey, I want to kiss your toes. Now, I've never had anybody offer to do that before <laughs> or after. And I said, no, wait a minute, Pam, stop for a second. <laughs> but, you know, when she said that, it caught me off guard. I said, just a second. I said, how are you feeling? She goes, I can't believe how good I feel. I walked out. I had a little staff, about five or six people. I said, I have never seen this before in my life. This is huge. It's going to put us on the map. This is huge. The combination of the thyroid and the uh, natural progesterone or natural hormones just absolutely transformed the lives of these two ladies. And we began to use it ubiquitously in our practice. And oh my gosh. So we've transitioned from being primarily an allergy practice where we do, we treat with hormones. So we treat with, we treat with natural thyroid hormone with indicated. And I believe anybody who has the symptoms of hypothyroidism deserves a therapeutic trial of thyroid. And there's reasons, and I think the country is profoundly hypothyroid. All you have to do is walk around and look at people. You know what you think about hypothyroidism? They all look hypothyroid. They're at church, they're in the malls, they're at the restaurants. 70% of our population is overweight. 35% of the population is obese. Now in 1960, 16% of the population was overweight, 8% obese. And you can say, well, it's all the junk food we have. Well, that, that contributes to it, no question about it. But when the metabolism goes down, inevitably your weight's going to go up. I've, I've traveled in Europe, and the people are skinny in Europe to this day. The, um, the overweight uh, population is 16%, and the, and the obese population is only 8%, just like it was in America in 1960. What did we do different? Well, we put fluoride in the water, and it turns out fluoride poisons the enzymes which convert the inactive thyroid hormone T4 to the active thyroid hormone T3, which you need to have in your power plants, in your cells, to activate them in order to produce energy. So there, that's, so we treat, with thi we treat with natural desiccated thyroid. We compound it here in our pharmacy, and we can use other brands as well as Armor and Nature Thoroid and several others. We also use natural bioidentical hormones in females and in males. 
And one thing that happens is individuals age inevitably our hormone levels decline. That, that's what happened. And when our hormone levels decline, our metabolism goes down. We're not eating right. Next thing you know, we're putting on weight. No matter how hard we exercise, you can't seem to lose it. You can't think clearly and you can't sleep well and you've lost your romantic moods and inclinations. You got joint problems. You got all these problems that happen as you mature and your doctor says, well, your blood tests are normal. You got to learn to live with it. All the women, you know, or all the guys, all the men your age have to live with these problems. And they, and they simply give them an antidepressant or anti-anxiety or sleep medication, anti-inflammatory medication. They give them a host of drugs. And remember, all drugs are toxins. They have to be detoxified by the body. I know this. My first, my first year in medical school, I took pharmacology 101. Well, guess what? There's a chapter on detoxification of drugs. Well, what do you have to detoxify? Detoxify means take away the toxin. What is a toxin? The definition of a toxin is real simple in Webster's Dictionary. It's a poison. So the current conventional medicine has an idea that they can poison their patients to good health. It can't be done. People are, people are sick because, because, one, they don't eat right. Secondly, their hormone levels have declined. Thirdly, the food we eat has been stripped of most of the vitamins and minerals that are important for detoxification in our body. And that causes the power plants to produce low levels of energy. And so they lack the proper vitamins and mineral support. And then they're not exercising because they don't feel good. Those are four things. Some people do have air allergies, airborne and food allergies, which can be treated. So I believe this, Dr. Porter, and to all your listeners, I believe that everybody needs a health coach. You need a doctor and a staff of professionals who can coach you on a path of health and wellness naturally underlined naturally without the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So as you mature, you feel healthy and well. Now, this is the physical aspect of what we do. Now, you know, Dr. Porter, I know, and maybe your listeners, if they've listened, you realize that health really has three aspects. You got to be spiritually healthy. You got to be mentally healthy. You've got to be physically healthy. So it's like a tripod. It's like a chair that sits or a tripod. If one of the legs is short and out of order, the tripod will fall over. It can't stand. You've got to have balance. So it's important to be you know, spiritually healthy. I'm a Christian. I believe it's important to have a good church home, read your Bible, spend time in prayer. Those are important things for you to develop spiritually. Mentally, you've got to be listening to people that can give you encouragement. And I think one of the best thing, one of the best items I've used once I was introduced to it, is brain tap, which Dr. Porter has, because his brain tap puts your brain waves in the right order that you can receive positive information. And I looked on, you know, I was looking on the, on the website today uh, of brain tap, which we use with our guests here at the Hotel Health and Wellness Center. And, you know, he's got all kinds of different, my goodness, you know, Christ-centered sections, uh, consciousness, uh, wealth, health, uh, learning, lifestyle, music. And you go to any one of these, and it'll give you a whole, a whole series of more uh, of tapes you can listen to. And what, his, what this brain tap does is it takes you, when you and I operate at a beta level, we're high activity, we're, we're moving all the time, we're popping and sizzling, we're under a lot of stress. Well, the the mind doesn't really retain information well or remember things well about it. We're under stress, and Americans are under a great deal of stress. We got families, we got kids, we got soccer, we got we got to take them to the play, we got their schoolwork to do, we got our finances. You ladies have to raise your husbands. All these things cause stress in life. And and we operate in a beta wave. The way you've got to get your mind is get it into the theta and the alpha and the theta wave where your body can can it's a more meditative where it can it it can reevaluate everything that's gone on and make sense of it. And we don't get our mind in that and the brain tap and the final wave, of course, is delta wave when you're dead asleep. But what Dr. Uh, Porter's uh, tapes do on the brain tap is it through using music and light therapy, it organizes your brain waves to take them down into the alpha and the theta level so you can better 
absorb the information that he tells, positive information that he talks about on his tapes, and they may, may last 10 or 15 minutes. They're wonderful. They will relax you, put you sound to sleep. My wife and I oftentimes use this at bedtime. If we need to get to sleep, I'll just pop that on my head and I'm gone. I'm gone <laughs> like, like, and I'll wake up with the earplugs in my ears and there's old Dr. Porter still talking away. <laughs> so, uh, but he's got some great information on that. Now I say that's important. That's one good aspect. I also cut my teeth on Zig Ziglar and, and Jim Rome and, and I've listened to John Maxwell and Brian Tracy and there's a lot of good uh, authors and, and uh, leaders out there in the, uh, in the positive uh, success uh, sphere or genre that you can listen to that will help you focus on positive things. So you got to get your mind thinking right. You got to spiritually healthy, mentally healthy, but it's important also that you're physically healthy and it's important to recognize that four things really happen as people age. First thing is their hormone levels begin to go down. They're not eating right. They're not getting enough vitamins and minerals and they begin to have health symptoms. And this can occur right at puberty in some young girls we see it. It can happen after childbirth. It can happen in midlife. Uh, women notice it every month because their hormone levels fluctuate every month. So they know from month to month. I have women that track, have tracked their, their menstrual cycles for years. They got books of their menstrual cycle, how they felt. So ladies, I know you know from month to month as you mature, you can tell a difference. You may have had periods that were three to five days in light and went five to seven, seven to nine. Now you got clotting and breakthrough bleeding and you got fibroids and and you're going downhill on that. That's because your hormones are out of balance. They can be easily balanced with natural progesterone before menopause. So uh, these are these are some important things. So so what happens is as as people mature, they're not eating right, hormone levels are going down, not getting enough vitamins and minerals, and on top of that, they're not getting any exercise. That creates health issues which adversely affect their quality of life. You don't enjoy your work anymore. Maybe you've lost your job or maybe you don't really communicate with your kids well anymore. They say, it's one of those days for mom. Everybody stay away. And with your spouse, your husband or your wife, you may notice that you just don't have the interest you used to have. You're sick all the time. You're having to lay in bed. You're worn out. You're slogging through the week so you can sleep all weekend and slogging through another week. This is what happens. So Second thing that happens, your quality of life is affected. So the third thing that happens when things start going down like that, inevitably, everybody goes to their conventional doctor who takes insurance. And the conventional doctor has five to seven minutes to hear you out. And at that point, he's always got a prescription pad and he's going to write you. I tell you, for most women, he, they, they hand out antidepressants like their candy and anti-anxiety drugs, drugs for anxiety and panic attacks. And they give them sleep medication. They got three medications. Then they got something for the joint muscle aches and pain, something for the blood pressure, something because they, uh, I've had them where they're, they're tired all the time. So they give them Adderall or Concerta. They give them amphetamines to pep them up during the day and give them antidepressants. And they, who knows all the interactions of these drugs, but it's not good for your brain or your brain waves or your brain function or your neurochemistry and your brain and the brain and the neurotransmitters. It has an adverse effect and they're very addicting and they're, ter they're very difficult to get off of. So I don't recommend anybody stopping them cold ever. They have to be tapered off under the guidance of a physician very, because that's when you begin to have problems. When you start on these drugs or stop them, it can cause a host of problems, the most common of which is outburst of anger. Second, suicidal ideation, homicidal ideation, loss of romantic moods and inclination and weight gain. Now, if that won't make you depressed, I don't know what will, but you go back to your doctor and tell him that he's going to throw you on another and put you on two or three antidepressants. I haven't come in with boxfuls of these medications, and I know they're poisoning their system when they could have been easily corrected with a little thyroid, a little progesterone, uh, some good vitamins and minerals, good healthy eating habits. And a little exercise goes miles. It's a simple, simple program. You simply learn to eat healthy. You learn to how to replenish your hormones and why you need to do that, why you need vitamins and minerals, and then exercise. Anybody can be healthy, and you can prevent a host of problems. Unfortunately, most people, what happens, the fourth stage is, once it fails at the conventional system, they're looking for an alternative, and they have to decide, do I want 
to make a switch to natural approaches to health. And all, everything on TV says, don't do that. It says, take this drug, it'll make you happy. You look at the commercials. I've never seen people so happy. They're always sad before they take the drugs. And then they take the drugs. They're happy. The dogs are happy. Everybody's happy. They're dancing together. They're walking and the sun comes out while at the same time they're reading all the adverse effects of these drugs. It can give you liver disease. It can cause you to go crazy. It may give you suicidal ideation. You know, it, it can cause all these hosts of problems. Listen to those problems. But when, they, when they're sharing the adverse effects of the drugs at the same time, what you're seeing is this wonderful picture of happiness. And I want to tell you, drugs, nobody is sick because they have low levels of pharmaceutical drugs in their body. When you felt healthy and well, if ever you did in your life, and I'm sure everybody at one time or another has, it wasn't because you had drugs in your body. It's because you were healthy and you had good, healthy, uh, you had a good eating program or you're eating right. You had good hormones and you're getting vitamins and minerals and you were young and you were healthy. We, there's no reason you shouldn't feel that way. I don't care if you're 50, 60, 70, 80. You ought to, my pastor, Dr. Dr. Young at Second Baptist Church, is 81 years old. When he preaches, he's like he's 45. He's a strong, strong health advocate. He walks, he runs, he takes his vitamins and minerals. This guy's an amazing individual, and there's no reason that, and I see guys, I saw somebody at a wedding over the weekend. He was 70, and he's had his one knee replaced and one shoulder replaced. He's had osteoporosis, and he's got scoliosis, and he looks like he's on death's bed, and he's only 73 years older than me, and I compare him with my pastor who's got vim and vigor and, and, and sparkle in his eyes, and that's the way everybody should feel. At 81 or 91, you ought, to be, you ought to be full of enthusiasm. And if you're not, then you need, to, you, need to take, you need to do a 180 and take charge of your health. Well, you shared a great deal with us here. We're, we're actually <laughs> winding down, but I know I want to let our listeners know you have a YouTube channel that I spent quite a bit of time on. You share information like this almost weekly, if not weekly. And I think that... Um, our listeners can go there. So why don't you give them a few more of the places where they can learn more about you and how they can get involved with your clinic? Well, um, they can go to our website, which is Hotze, H-O-T as in Tom, Z as in zebra, E as in elephant. It's H-O-T-Z-E, followed by three initials. H is in health, W is in wellness, C is in cat. Hotze, H-W-C.com. Look at that. They can also go to uh, Yeast Free with me.com if they want to get on a yeast free eating program right away they can go to our podcast which is hotsey health is that right hotseypodcast.com you can go on our facebook at hotsey health and how do they go to the youtube youtube.com slash hotsey health so you, and you could probably Google my name on there and you, you know on YouTube and come up with that. And I do have three books that uh, I've written, and I've got several more that haven't been published yet. My first opus was Hormones, Health, and Happiness. And so uh, the second book is Hypothyroidism, Health, and Happiness, which is a chapter out of the first book, Expanded. And then I've recently written a book called Dual 180, Take Charge of Your Health. And that'll help give you an overview of how I view uh, the way we ought to be addressing health in America today. So if anybody is in, look, uh, uh, you, for your listeners, if any of your listeners is interested in receiving one or all of these books, they can simply call us at the OTC Health and Wellness Center at 698, I'm sorry, 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. Nine, eight, and I will send you a copy of these books free. I want you to have them. I want you to be educated. And for those of you that may be interested in our services, uh, you can contact us at that same number. We'll be glad to talk to you about that. If you live out of state, we have people come from all over the world, but if you happen to live out of state or in another country, you can still fly. You can fly in. You need to be seen at one time under state law. You got to be seen one time, but after that, you can be, this all can be done long, long distance and it can be done on Skype and it can be done on phone where we can follow you and we just get blood work back and we make recommendations to you. That's great. Well, I know you're, you're, you also have your own 
uh, pharmacy there, right? I mean, I you do. spoke we a little have... bit about it. So when people are wondering uh, what's the, what makes all this thing, this whole magic happen, you've kind of taken the whole thing under your own roof so you could manage I, it all. And I did that. And in, in back in 2001, we set up, we set up, uh, initially it was called uh, Premier Pharmacy, but it, everybody was asked, where do you get your hormones? Well, I'll get everyone at Hotsey's Pharmacy. So everybody called it Hotsey's Pharmacy. We changed the name. It's Hotsey's Pharmacy. We have a vitamin store that's called Hotsey's Vi Hotsey Vitamin. And uh, our compounding pharmacy is one of only 300 compounding pharmacies in the whole nation that have been certified by the Pharmacy Compounding Accreditation Board. There are 20,000 or more compounding pharmacies. Most of them are little mom and pop shops. The reason I set up my own pharmacy is I'm a first class guy. I want everything done top drawer. And I know that it, if we don't give quality products, quality compounded products to our guests, they're not going to do as well. And when we let them just go around the area to any, any compounding pharmacy, we had some patients do well and some didn't. I had no way to control the quality. And we know by studying some of these outside pharmacies and sending their products off to the lab that they don't meet standards. So um, I want to make sure I know this. You can't get any better than the quality of the products that you take. So we do that. And then we also have private labeled for us. Gosh, we have about 150 different products in our vitamin store. Here, my dad asked me about vitamins. And I said, <laughs> what do I know about vitamins, dad? And now I've got a store. Uh, that, and so we've got some proprietary uh, products in that store, Energy Farm, your Hotsi uh, uh, Power Pack. Uh, we've got a bunch. In fact, I even have them set up that you can order them and they come out prepackaged for you. So you don't have to open up bottles and all that. And I think that's a great way to do it for compliance. I found that helpful. And I, I, I want to, I'll mention, I'll mention this one thing. I, you know, in every adversity, there is a seed of equal or greater benefit. And the adversity that I ran into was my dad's health. This is how many physicians like myself make a transition from conventional medicine to natural approaches to health because either they or a member of their family had health problems that weren't getting solved. And they began to, investigate and discover there were alternative methods. And once they treated their family member, as I did my dad, and he started to get better, he was supposed to live one year and never get out of bed. He walked two miles every day and lived eight years the night before he died. And he ran a business. He was 80 years old when he died, ran a business with 300 and something employees in it. And he was at work every day and he was sharp as a tack. The night before he died, I called him on the phone, driving home from the office. I said, Dad, how you feel? He said, son, I hadn't felt this good since I was 18. I feel like a million dollars. My food hadn't tasted so good. He had an irregular heart rate and just happened that he had, went into regular rhythm. And it worked one day and pop, he was gone. That's where he told me he was going to die. And that's what he did. And he didn't linger. I'll guarantee you that. He had a great life. But in every adversity, there's a seed of equal or greater benefit. And it was my dad's adversity that is what caused me to transition into natural approaches to health. So I thank God that adverse, that adversity. And I know my dad was very pleased about it and proud that I had made that transition because he told me way back at the beginning, don't poison your patients like all the other doctors do, son. And so I don't. That's tremendous. Well, I know thousands of people, maybe even millions by the time you're done, are going to thank, thank your father for his sacrifice, actually, in, in doing that for you. So I'm also a firm believer that in all adversity, there's a seed of equal okay. opportunity. So I, I think that uh, for those that are, didn't have a pen or pencil, we're going to write down all those contact information. We're going to put it in the podcast so that they can go to the website, learn about it, I appreciate it, and I encourage everyone to uh, learn more about Dr. Holtz. I mean, he's changing the world from his little corner of Houston, and um, and I think that far the pharmacy that you have. I mean, I think we need more of those. We need somebody to educate the rest of the world that uh, you know there doesn't have to come in a in a pill form. Health doesn't come in a pill anyway, like you're saying. It it comes through these uh, different modalities. Right, and and I want to mention something about that. We are we have set up another another uh, enterprise called Hotsey Elite Physicians. And our goal over the next 10 years is to train 5,000 physicians in our business and medical protocols so they can help their patients get on a path of health and wellness naturally, get them out of insurance-based medicine. Remember, if a doctor works for an insurance company, he doesn't call the shots the insurance company does. He has a protocol he's required to give. He can't use natural approaches to health. That's why we don't do insurance. 
Insurance won't pay for natural approaches to health. It doesn't make any sense to me. I kind of understand their business model. As long as people are sick, premium keep going up and they get a percentage of the premium. So the higher the premiums, the more money they're going to end up making on the bottom line. So they're, they just keep raising the prices. But if you want to get healthy and well, you've got to make an investment in your own health. You've got to be willing to do that. Nothing's more important than being healthy. And remember, as I told you, it's not just your physical health, but it's your spiritual health and it's your mental health. And brain tap, my friend, is a great way to get your brain in the proper wavelengths so that you can learn good, helpful concepts that uh, Dr. Porter teaches. She's got some great stuff on success, on our entrepreneurship. For any of you out there on, on creation of wealth, he's got great stuff on, on uh, weight loss. He's got great sl- stuff on uh, building relationships, public speaking. You name the topic, Dr. Porter has got uh, a brain tap series for you to listen to, and you'll find this tremendously helpful. We have. Well, I appreciate the the compliment there. We're just coming out with our emotional eating habits uh, program that has to do with people who have bulimia and um, issues like that that are different than the weight issue because we have that other end of the spectrum. So I'm going to have, I'm definitely going to have you on one of our other podcasts that we have for our doctors because we have 1,600 doctors that we work with. And I'd like to help you get to that 5,000 number because if we get doctors with an open mind like you have and looking for alternative solutions and and promoting health, we're going to change the planet. So uh, well, that's, what we, that's what we have to do. And the public is moving this direction. You know, well over 50 or 60% of the population use some sort of alternative health care. You know, whether it's vitamins or minerals, or whether it's going to a chiropractor or going to uh, some, some other aspect of natural approaches to health because they know the system's not working. It's broken. And really the system is built to make you a cash cow for the drug companies and for the hospitals. Why do you think they built all the, if you look around your area, in our area in Houston, they built these monster hospitals. Who are, who are that for? It's for all the baby boomers that are going to, are getting old and getting sick. They're going to drain you of all your insurance and put you in the last place you want to go, my friend, is the hospital because you can catch stuff in the hospital you can't wash off with soap and water, I guarantee you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I mean, you have so, so many, so much knowledge. I, I really hope that our listeners take advantage and get some of your free content and then get in, get involved with the clinic there and start learning about it. Get on your newsletter list, start learning and sharing. I appreciate your time here with BrainTap Radio, and I'm sure we're going to invite you back to be a guest. I hope you'll uh, take us up on the offer and, and maybe we'll get more specific about what you're doing in some of these areas. We so can talk you- specifically about anything like thyroid's got a, got a great I mean, any one of these, you have, we could break those down and talk about them. But I want to thank you, Dr. Porter, for your uh, wonderful work that you have done. And in, in, it's amazing to me how you figured all this stuff out about brain waves and, the, and, and how, to get the, how to get us into the proper brain waves so that we can learn correctly. As a matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do, because I've been under stress today, <laughs> right after the program, I'm going to go slap on one of those and see if I could uh, uh, get myself chilled out and <laughs> let my mind work for about right. 10 or 15 minutes. All right. Well, I appreciate that. And yeah, we all can reboot, replenish, and rebalance our brain at any time. We need those nutrients too, though. So we always preach that in our, our philosophy, it's either trauma toxins or thoughts. So right. let's, let's get those things in balance. And of course, the spiritual side is always so important that people overlook that. So again, thank you, Dr. Holtzi. And we're going to get this out, share it with the world, and hopefully we'll get some positive feedback about that from you and from our listeners. So thank you so much, Dr. Porter. It's a pleasure being with you today. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.